All right, welcome to another video battle report from Greenfield Games. We're playing a big old apocalypse game here today on a real long wide table. We're doing 12,000 points of Imperium, which includes uh, Grey Knights, uh, Guard, Space Marines, and Inquisitors, and 6,000 points of Blood Angels versus 12,000 points of Xenos, including Necron, uh, Chaos, Marines, Necrons over here, and a big old pile of Orcs. So uh, let's start with a brief rundown. Uh, we're gonna just we're just gonna line up on sides and play like a purge the alien kill points on this terrain. Nice wide, long, dawn of war style deployment. And here's what the blood angels are bringing: Vanguard veterans, Death Company, whole lot of Terminators, about four squads of assault troops, Sanguinary Guard, almost all my HQs: Dante, Astaroth, Corbulo, Mephiston. Plenty of Devastators, Lazcan, Razorbacks, uh, Crusader, two Predators, three Predators, two Dreadnoughts in Storm Ravens, and a defense line. Alright, and the Empire over here, starting with the, I guess we'll start with the Inquisitors. Inquisitors are bringing the Warlords and Inquisitors, Xenos Inquisitor with uh, the Book of, um, the Xenos Book, Book of Veth, or Veth, Vespid, or whatever. Uh, ten Stormbolter guys, two monkeys behind a line with Aegis quad gun, a land raider. Inside's going to be a priest and nine death cult assassins. They're bringing um, two Psy rifle razor back dread, uh, razor backs with five hotshot las gun guys in each one. Um, they're also bringing an uh, Inquisitor and Terminator armor with Psy cannon. Um, Imperial Guard is bringing two Manticores, uh, a Bane Blade, two Chimeras with uh, Melta Vets inside, two Chimeras with Plasma Vets inside, three Lehman Rust Battle Cannons, um, two Laz Cannon Sentinels are going to outflank. Grey Knights, uh, no, Vendetta with the Guard, Guard are also bringing Ven Vendetta. And then we got Grey Knights. We're going to have seven Paladins and 20 um, Grey Knight Strike Marines deep striking in with a Grandmaster. Grey Knights are also bringing a Storm Raven and they're bringing three Psy Rifle Dreads and a Vindicare Assassin. And then the Space Marines will bring in Devastators, two Thunderfires, Chapter Master on Bike with all the goodies and bikes. Here's what the, just give us vaguely what, what kind of orcs are we going to be seeing here? Uh, you're going to be seeing uh, mostly foot slugging orcs, mostly boys, um, a couple uh, hard knob squads. And some trucks, some appropriated rhino trucks. And then here's what the Necrons are bringing. Just bringing uh, six squads of immortals, bunches of tan, and uh, monoliths. Alright. And over here is the collection of Chaos and Necrons. What are you bringing? Um, I got a Monolith, a bunch of Scarabs, a Mortal Squad, Deathmark Squad, a full Royal Court with a Moth Tech, the Storm Lord, and the Bargard will be around the Nemesis Zandrak, three Raids, three Tomb Spiders, a Silver Tide of Necron Warriors with uh, Destroyers. And as for Chaos, I'm bringing Corn Berserkers, Basic Chaos Space Marine Squad, five Obliterators, and Karn the Betrayer. Alright, All right. so we didn't even roll up for side, we just kind of set up, Imperial is going to be over here, Xenos will be over here, and we'll be back with the point. Alright, so here's the point, and, uh, it's pretty straightforward, we got all the Blood Angels lined up over here, with a Thunderfire Cannon over there, and so dread, uh, Death Cult using that, Land Raider, um, more Blood Angels, Thunderfire, Razorbacks, Manicores, Lehman Rush, Devastators, Bikes, Tanks, Psy Rifle Dreads, Inquisitor Squad, uh, Vets and Chimeras. That's what's going to fly on uh, when they roll, and the Scents are going to outflank over here. Looks like Necrons, uh, Orcs in the truck. Sorry, this is all Orcs in the truck. Or is this uh, yep. actual chaos? In the those, are, those are chaos. This is actual chaos. They are in the chaos. Rhino. Okay. Necrons, Blitz, Necrons, Scarabs. Here's some Orcs. Start over here. 
uh, more Necrons, Orcs on Bikes, Chaos, uh, here's more Orcs, Necrons, pretty self-explanatory here, Catan, the Destroyers, more Catans, and uh, that's pretty much it. I'm going to infiltrate my Vindicare, but that's what the board's going to look like for starters. There. They fell. Like my parent. All the red. I'm opening my room. What is it? suitcase. I just started. Oh yeah, which plane? Uh, I got the dark I mean, thing. 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 So then this is the uh, the end of turn one for the Xenos. They seized the initiative because of uh, Evil Tech the Stone Lord. Okay. Yep. And then uh, you guys just go ahead and just give a basic rundown of what y'all did. Um I threw down the everything is dangerous terrain with uh a satan with writhing worldscape and um uh Orican. And just trying to make them fail some tests. Okay, and then basically Xenos overall moved forward over here, did some shooting. Uh, what was the overall damage over here? What all did you kill? Um, Emotex Lightnings um, killed a Bell Predator, a Siphoman Dreadnought to the right, put a wound on the Chapter Master of these bikers, and. Um, Killed this Lehman Russ. Killed this Lehman Russ using the um, Tachyon arrow on the Lord over there. And then pretty much across the board, moving forward here, Obliterators, uh, did some other shooting, we did a wound on um, this Vindicare up here, and these bikes jot forward. Uh, these orcs actually teleported using their psychic power. Yeah, the weird boy. Yeah, the weird boy. And then these bikes popped over the hill and shot rockets at one of the uh, manticores, and then... They tried to assault it, but they were shy, and some shooting, I forget, these guys shot some, um, something, they shot something, but didn't really do anything. That's okay, okay they deep strike. Alright, and that's the basic rundown of turn one, we are going to move, well, we're going to be pretty limited in our movements, but we'll be back at the end of turn one from Imperial. At the end of turn one for the Imperials, uh, all this, oh my goodness, I don't even really, what all happened with Blood Angels, what's the highlights of Blood Angels turn one? I annihilated most of a Scarab squad over here, I just moved some of my guys up, got all my Devastators out of their transports, put some wounds on, so some Tan War uh, guys, moved my Land Raider up, they got some Death Company in there. We eliminated uh, some old, some lords over here. Got rid of a truck, um, and that's about it. Oh. All right, over here on the other imperial side of the board. Let's see. Baneblade dealt heavily with the orcs over here and he put wounds on Katan, as did the um, Land Raider. Uh, Inquisitor crushed and stuff to Thunderfire, and it dropped hits again all in that area, killing all that. These um, assault marines took care of the jet bikes that were up there, saving these guys. These guys did really well and both dropped three blasts each, um, pretty much eliminating everything that was over there and eliminating everything that was there with the two manticores. Uh, these guys <laughs> shot a little bit into here, as did um, the plasma vets and the devastators, whittled that down a bit. Just took a shot over here and scattered onto the scarabs, killing some. Um, they shot, as up, let's see, most of the squads over here, bikes and plasma vets um, and the psi rifle killed a bike over here. Um, the melt of vets exploded the truck as it moved forward. The truck exploded and landed here and killed some guys and left um, a knob. And then all this shooting shot the knobs and left one alive. And then some shooting from over here went into the um, Necrons over there and killed a few, a few reanimated. And that's a quick general overlook of round turn one of the apocalypse here. Oh. Alright, so turn two for the Xenos ended with, uh, let's see, one, one monolith deep struck here and popped out guys, 
More guys. stuff died from the lightning. Right, a bunch of stuff died from the lightning. Like several vehicles over here were killed by the lightning. Um, his Necron animated the tank here and did a round of shooting into it. Uh, um, did some damage over there with the animated Bane Blade shots. Uh, Death Marks came in and sniped the uh, veteran. So that was two dead. Right, one monolith was lost to the warp in a deep strike mishap. Um, uh, one Katan charged the Devastators and the other one charged through the Aegis defense line to kill the Predator. Mm -hmm. Let's see, we got Scarab moving up close here. You go ahead and narrate. Oh, uh, no, I was supposed to charge the. Um, let's see. What wrecked this? Something. Something. I think it might have been shooting these or... Yeah, I don't no, know. It might be the rocket launches. Something. Something yeah. killed this Vendetta. I mean, this Manticore. This got wrecked by the Orcs here. The pop out guys here. The bikes wrecked the Lehman Russ here. Um, something... Oh, the lightning wrecked this. And these guys had to pop out. Um, My uh, race swept down, swept down yes. and right. killed some passengers. Race came down, killed the vets, the plasma vets that were, or the melted vets that were in there. Um, this, the orc that landed here from the exploding vehicle, got into combat with the Inquisitor, and the Inquisitor um, force sorted them out. And these guys dropped down and killed a bunch of vets and Stormbolter henchmen with flamers here. And that's about... Yeah, everything just kind of moved up a little moving bit. forward, some shooting into here was ineffective on the front of the Chimera. And, oh, and the destroyers tried to deep strike here, they mishapped and they got placed almost back. Uh, right yeah, where they started. Is, uh, his two spiders. So again, massive apocalypse battle. We're kind of taking our time here. We're going to just play two turns and call it a day. Um, but we'll still be able to count up kill points and see... Uh, some some degree of victory here. It's kind of good that we did such a simple battle. Really, just going to add up kill points at the end of turn two, and that'll be the end of it. All right, so we played all day and got two turns of a twelve thousand point apocalypse. Uh, in wrapping up the empires, we you know, Imperium, Imperium, not the empires. Imperium. Uh, much moving. Go ahead. I hosed basically all the orcs on this side. I got assaulted by Satan here and didn't win that. Um, oh, wait, the wait, Terminators came in for no apparent reason. I got Sanguinary Garden over there and lost some tanks, and that's it for me. Death Culties jumped out and wiped the unit here. Um, the, the, the Manticore dropped the template and killed the Grots over here. Um, these guys were wiped out here by the units in this area. Um, was on Grey Knight's deep struck here and here, but was unable to wipe that unit. They got whittled down, but they died. Um, these guys wiped this bike squad here, and that's about it. Basically, we played all day, played two turns, killed a bunch of things, uh, purged the alien battle. What did it end up? 13 versus 13? A straight up tie uh, all day long. So, good thing we had a lot of fun. Uh, let me get a handshake in here from everybody. Good game, good sir. Game. Appreciate it. Good game. Good game, and there's my partner, Good Game. So that's how it wrapped up. We uh, kissed our sister today in a 12,000 point apocalypse game. Uh, we each managed to do kill 13 units each. Uh, played all day. Played for about, I don't know, six hours? Five and, five and a half hours. Uh, we were kibitzing and chatting and enjoying the model. So everyone had fun, and this is uh, another bat rep from Greenfield Games. Like the page, enjoy it, we need to do it. Each and uh, leave comments if you like. Alright, thanks. And it's going to be the flip trunk. Each of us needs to do the highlight of the game. <laughs> highlight of the game, for me, was probably getting uh, both Manticores on turn one, both got tons of hits and three, um, three templates each. What was the Blood Angels MVP or play of the game? Oh, uh, my death company wiped out 30 boys in a single assault, so I'm good. Oh, you're you're, less, you're, 20. you're, you're, you're less than 20. What's the or <laughs> Orcs play of the game? What's the Orcs play of the game? Your MVP was oh, um, it was... Uh, I'd actually have to say the deep strike. This deep strike here when you got your weird boy and everything down in here? 
Uh, what's the Necron play of the game? Uh, for the Necrons, um, actually, my MVP would be the guy who's bang hanging back here, the Emotech. Right, his lightning. He, he killed like uh, six tanks by himself A with his lightning. A good chunk of the vehicles died due to lightning. Strikes. And as for the Chaos, I have nothing much to say. They chaos just kind of marched forward and got mowed down. Well, actually, I would say Karn's MVP because he made He did a make a ton of saves. He, he basically... Yeah. He the reason that these Grey Knights and those Grey Knights didn't wipe that squad out is because Karn tanked a ton of wounds. So. Yeah, that's about it, though. All right, excellent game. Nice to meet a couple of new people that I haven't played with, and we'll be hopefully doing more games like this and smaller games in the future.